2009 is a significant year for the chiropractic profession in New Zealand. We celebrate 15 years since the inception of the New Zealand College of Chiropractic, and we celebrate 30 years since the publishing of the New Zealand Commission of Inquiry into Chiropractic. This landmark document had worldwide ramifications for the profession. New Zealand has had many pioneers in the profession, and none other so than the Nolan family. They enter legendary status in our profession. One of these pioneers and legends is Dr. John Nolan, whose contribution to chiropractic radiography has set a benchmark for the safety of taking x-rays throughout the world. It is a shame in many respects that this excellence and safety procedure is not utilised by our medical colleagues when taking plain film radiographs. These were names like uh, Whitehead, uh, Nolan, uh, Chain, um, and, and there were many others. And um, uh, I first got to meet uh, Dr. John Nolan at an NZCA conference when I went along as a teenager, uh, and he certainly was in the legendary status. Uh, some years after that, I heard him uh, and his brother, they were at a conference in, uh, in Australia, and um, I guess one of the things about the pioneers is they had the opportunity uh, to spend time uh, with the greats and the founders of chiropractic, specifically B.J. Palmer. Um, and these people, this generation of chiropractors, uh, were committed to serving patients uh, in a level which may not be uh, as common today. Um, it was a call for service above self. It was a call for um, excellence in analysing the spine and analysing x-rays and taking x-rays and how can we give the best adjustment uh, in chiropractic. I guess someone of this status uh, has an opportunity to mentor other people and while he may not realise it, um, there are patients of his who have gone on to become chiropractors, uh, there are chiropractors who hold him in awe and there are students uh, who obviously look up to him as a mentor. And I guess part of his contribution, or what will become legacy, is if some of those traits um, uh, that we talked about earlier can um, continue, um, I guess that would be something I think would put a smile on his face. Yeah, John was always a very imposing presence, and, um, and you instantly knew that he was an important person <laughs> because he just commanded respect, basically. And, uh, and he wasn't afraid to speak out and he, he's a man who always had opinions. So he was someone that I looked up to as a, as a young chiropractor. Just a big lovable bear of a man. He's um, gruff and he's self-deprecating um, and you just can't help loving him, actually. Yeah. And he's totally ethical, just very upfront. What you see is what you get. My son was a difficult birth, very long, and um, he he was a forceps delivery as well so his neck just fell to the side so yeah I was really really worried and on the seventh day I left the home with my son I brought him straight here I understood the background to chiropractic and so and my son was seven days old and John's beautiful big hands and they're huge and he just you know just helped my son and so my son's had from day seven has had chiropractic all his life I, I really, uh, um, it really is, I thank the Nolan family for my understanding of health. Mm. I'm a great fan of the Nolans. Mm. I'd have to say, in one word, probably, I'd have to say modest. Like, he really doesn't boast about his achievements at all. He hates getting up to receive awards and... Just things like that, yeah. Prefers you just get it, get it done in the shed. Yeah, because he's he's been called the quiet achiever, and um, I'd say it's a pretty good, yeah, summation almost. Yeah. He's let us see things on radiographs that you can't see on a single image. Um, so a lot of stuff that would have gotten missed pathologically, um, because there's there's too much density differences. Um, also, we expose the patient to less radiation. We cut down a lot of the um, the low level radiation because in a tube itself you've got two millimeters of aluminum built in because that automatically stops a lot of the, the bad radiation that comes out of the tube. This stops even more of it. So it decreases the skin dosage of, of the bad beam getting to the patient which has helped patients you know, for 40 years. 
I know him as a person and um, he's certainly a very unique individual in the profession and one who's been very self-driven on a, on a, I guess on a course that has seen him uh, overcome many things and I think uh, he epitomises what a lot of the chiropractors of his era were like, that they were required to do all the extra things on their own and to try and make a difference and his just happened to be in, uh, in uh, radiology and uh, plain film imaging of the spine. And, um, and I think uh, probably there'd be no other person like him as far as uh, to what length he would go to. His own workshop and his own backyard, uh, his own materials developing through intense experimentation, uh, coming up with the, uh, the best uh, thicknesses uh, and also making it very user friendly. There was, I mean, him and Felix Bauer together probably uh, are the only ones in the world that uh, actually did that and took the interest to do that. So his biggest impact has really been. I think on the developing of filtration systems, uh, he certainly commanded an audience and um, with his wife Dee who travelled with him all the time, I had the opportunity to meet him in many parts of the world where I saw him present and certainly uh, his impact was uh, quite significant. He has become a real legend. I think a lot of it was to do with the fact that there was a lot of criticism of chiropractors utilising x-ray and he just wanted to raise the standards and he did, very much so. This is one of the other things about John is he's one of these, what I call, he's a chiropractor commander, because they're the sorts of people who, it doesn't matter when it is, what time it is, where it is, if someone needs to be checked, they'll check them. The, the whole emphasis is on serving the people with chiropractic, <clears throat> um, and, and it's, it is, it's more of a service to humanity, and that's what I like about about John and, and some of the others around that sort of a, a generation is it's, it's more about getting chiropractic to as many people as possible. Yeah, I just take my hat off to people like John and his father who was a legend in terms of people would come from all over the world to go and see these people. And John, of course, with his, um, his expertise in x-ray as well, well, as, as you know, like, I didn't know John before I went to the States, but while I was in the States, I got to know about John Nolan and knew that I had to go and see him uh, to get some, to, to pick his brain. Mm. Um, so, uh, and of course, you know, he didn't know, he didn't know us from a bar of soap, but uh, took us in like we were family.